Hey, long time no see. So summer has ended and lots of revolutionary and industry changing events has happened during the past three months. We've selected top five, so let's talk about them. Elon Musk ran a demo for a brain implant from his company Neuralink. A coin-like part of the device is implanted in the skull. Its wires are embedded in the surface of the brain. They can detect the way neurons fire off or activate them via electric signal. Musk demonstrated the safety of the device by showing off pigs who have an implant or had it before. He says implants will cure neurological and mental diseases. While the technology is super futuristic and probably will start the era of brain-to-computer devices in the future, neurologists don't think the demo really proves the implants are safe, both for pigs and humans. Amazon enters the wearable market with Hollow, an unrest health tracker and a dedicated app for it. The device is screenless, made from water-resistant fabric, and its sensors track activity, temperature, and heart rate. To measure activity, Hollow tracks the intensity and duration of the movement instead of steps. The device helps users recognize energy and positivity in their voice, provides tips on how to improve the quality of sleep, illustrates how users' bodies can change from gaining or losing weight. Amazon collaborates with different third-party companies like Headspace and Orange Theory Fitness, and the app integrates with EHRs. We wonder how bloody their fight with the new Fitbit wearable will get. And about fighting. Getting sterile mosquitoes to fight disease-spreading mosquitoes helps to control their population and illnesses, and now it could be done with drones. A Brazil-based experiment showed drones can deploy sterile male mosquitoes in the heavily populated areas to fight for food with mosquitoes who live there and kill them. The method has been known to be efficient, but as you understand, people are usually releasing sterile mosquitoes, which is dangerous. Drones, on the other hand, would take cartridges with chilled sterile mosquitoes. Scientists put them in fridges so they won't fly or bite, and release them onto the targeted place, covering larger areas than humans and endangering no one. A great merger has come. The biggest health deal of all. That's what they say about Teladoc and Livongo. Two giant digital health companies merge. Teladoc, a leader in telemedicine, has purchased Livongo, a leader in remote patient monitoring, for $18.5 billion, which created $38 billion entity and resulted in a real unprecedented deal in the digital health industry, both in a financial sense and in its scale. The result of the merger is the largest virtual care company in the world. The deal solidifies the only way for medicine, digital future with virtual care and proactive engagement models for patients. The merger is also seen as the event that will consolidate the industry as two companies offer doctors alternative beyond the EHR. Finally, let's look at CB Insights list of this year's pioneers of our industry their most promising digital health startups report. 2020 brought the industry 12 unicorns, among them, for instance, Bright Health, health insurance startup, and Grail, diagnostic biotechnology venture. The smallest startups include Twistle, a communication platform that automates doctors' workflows, and Folks Health, a telehealth service for LGBTQ community. The most popular categories are clinical enabling software, screening and diagnostic solutions, and obviously virtual care, as telemedicine becomes new normal. Rock Health Media Report said that funds are pouring in the industry, especially in startups that solve the pandemic's challenges. So digital health isn't slowing down, and we hope that the momentum will bring more value through the new ventures. Until the next time!